It's Vana, welcome back to Dishonored, ladies and gentlemen. In the last episode, we got ourselves some powers, including Blink and Dark Vision. So we can do this cool thing. Uh, if we can... There we go. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that cool? Oh, and, it, oh, and it's this guy's workshop. Let's actually see... You know what? No, we're not going to be able to get any upgrades, and even if we were, it's probably better to wait. Alright, so let's take a look at our quest here. Eliminate High Overseer Campbell. Travel with Samuel the Boatman to your first mission. Locate Emily. Take the Blackmail Journal from the High Overseer Campbell. And optional tasks. Spare Captain Kerno. Ensure Captain Kerno survives his visit to the office of the High Overseer. And I think the way we can do that is by finding a poison. We actually have 2,000 coins. So yeah, let's see if we can, what can I do upgrade anything. Um, let's talk about upgrades and new equipment. Okay, so we have 2,116 coins. So let's go to upgrades and see if we can do anything here. Crossbow reload. Yeah, we're going to be mainly focusing on the crossbow. Combat sleep dart. Sleep dart's sedative effect is immediate even in combat. We don't need the pistol. We don't need the sword. We don't need the spring razor. Maybe the mass optics. Uh, although magnum magnifying my view doesn't seem too important. Bullet capacity, no. Bolt capacity, maybe. Grenade capacity, no. Bone charm capacity, that would be good. Spring Razor, no. Alright, so let's focus on the crossbow first. We'll get the accuracy, lowers dispersion, and stabilizes crossbow aim. Yes, I want to purchase that. Crossbow reload. Faster reload enables auto reload. Yes. I mean, the upgrades to the crossbow isn't that important because we're only going to be using them, like, one at a time to take out people with the sleep darts, but nevertheless. Combat sleep dart. Sleep darts of sedative effect is immediate even in combat. I don't think that's too important considering we want to hit them before they're in combat with us, but we'll get it anyways. And let's see, we have 600 left. Let's get bolt capacity. No, bone charm capacity is probably more important. And then bolt capacity one. There is all of our money. All right. Thank you very much, Piero. Let's go ahead and talk to Samuel. Yeah, there goes our weapons. I guess the weapons go away when we talk to somebody. Hello there. Ready to go? Just give the signal. Let's go then. Take me to the distillery district. Okay, distillery district. The blink power is useful for stealth, exploration, and combat. Tell me something I don't know. Is that the guy we're trying to kill? Maybe. Let's press A to continue. So kind of a familiar scene with a Hound Pits a pub. Trip. Used to be to go straight up Clavering Boulevard, but now it's not so easy. Half the city's dead of the plague. The other half's fighting over what's left. City Watch still holds the bigger streets, and they've set up those wall of light checkpoints. A man walks through one of those, and he ends up burned to a crisp. Everything not controlled by the City Watch is gang territory. Are the real odd birds living on the fringes like that Granny Braggs? They say she's nuts. I wonder if that's the witch I've heard about. Just take your pick. Okay, I think we're on our on our own for now. Use the bottle street alleys to get around the walls of light. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this rat. Talk to Granny Rags in her apartment. Oh, wow, so we're already dealing with that. Okay, well, let's get Blink out. Actually, no, let's... Crossbow? Sleep darts? Um, Blink is probably going to be more important. And I see a guy over there already. So let's go into Sneak. And do this. Let's go. It's nearly midnight. But easy, damn it. Keep him in the boat. Canal's got enough shit in it as it is. Okay, so are those guards? It looks like he's wearing a guard's uniform, and yes, he does have the... Keep him coming. He does have the uh, guard sword or whatever. I think that last one was moving. <laughs> what? Yeah, the little one. Not possible. I inspected them myself. Keep working. Okay, and some dudes up there are throwing bodies over the bridge, I think. <laughs> And obviously they're cruel because they said one guy was still moving, but they didn't care. Alright. Gonna go this way. Apparently, we're gonna get to a wall of light. Attention Dunwall citizens, this is a special announcement from our honorable Lord Regent. This is the Lord Regent speaking. It is with regret that I 
announced that my term as Lord Regent has been extended through the month of harvest and potentially beyond. In addition, in this continuing crisis, the overseers of the Abbey of the Everyman remain in service to the state and are empowered to enforce order whenever and wherever necessary. We owe our thanks to High Overseer Campbell for the generous loan of their services. Okay, there's actually a rune really close by, and I think I just knocked out like a innocent by bystander. So yeah. Clavering Boulevard has been designated a restricted travel area. Any citizens are liable to search oh, no. or imprisonment at the discretion of the city watch. Garbage, 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 garbage. All of it. Okay, that's not Granny Rags, is it? I kind of want to find this bone charm, but I think we're gonna go. We're gonna have to go this way. And then circle it? No, it doesn't look like there's anything leading over there unless we can go through this door. Hello, rat. Can we go through this door? No, we cannot. I don't think we need to be in sneak right now. I don't see any guards around. Actually, wait. Will guards even attack us? We do have a mask. Okay, how are we supposed to get to that, that rune? Maybe we're supposed to jump up here? And... Let's find where that woman is because she might be who we're trying to find. Yes, I will. I don't know where she went. Doesn't look like we can go upstairs, so let's go downstairs. There's this person. Granny, 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 come out. Dear? Is that you, my dear husband? No. Uh, my eyes aren't what they used to be. Have you seen my little birdies? Oh, the dear things must be starving without their granny. Here, birdies. Here. Oh, my, my, my. I think I have gentlemen callers again, but not the way I used to, not the nice ones. I hear them, and they're not very polite ones either. Granny Rags, Granny Rags, let us in. Ah, oh, well, they'll go away again if they know what's good for them. But what a bother. Here's the key to the front door, love. You'll see to those ruffians, won't you? Deal with grannies, gentlemen, callers. Okay, so I have a feeling we're gonna have to kill these people. Um, but just for the sake of curiosity, I'm gonna over I'm gonna overwrite that save, and we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna reload oh, no, the save. If I do have to save, or if I do have to kill them. Let us in, granny. Hey guys. Would you look at this? You don't walk in a bottle street looking like that. That outfit must have cost a lot. Yeah, Maybe kind of. my girlfriend wear. What? No, it's, it's a men's suit. Alright, let's kill these people. Um, this does count as killing people, right? Even though we were sort of forced into it. Okay. Deal with Granny's gentlemen callers is completed. Revisit Granny Rags. Let's see what she says. Oh, my God. Dear, I knew you'd help me with those ill-mannered boys. My brave man. Listen, Granny has a birthday present for you. It's not my birthday. I got it from the outsider, and now I'm giving it to you. Hey, I know that guy. Go on. It's upstairs. On the vanity. I think you'll cut a nice figure with it. Remember how we used to dance? I have never danced with you, Our old woman. Our parties were even grander than those at the Boyle Manor. Everyone wanted to come. Okay, so we have a gift upstairs. Collect your gift from Granny Rags. And let's see what that is. It's a room. I hope you like the little gift I got for you. It's the least I could do for turning those louts away. I can't bear these Bottle Street children. Ruffians, every last one of them. Rotten apples. And that slack jaw is the worst of the lot. You know what I just thought of? You could do something else for me. Another little favor. And I'd give you another present. Another lovely wound carved from the bones of a dead whale. Alright, so we're going to hold X to skip here. Because this is taking up too much time. I'll find you another... And we're not going to be helping out this woman. Why can't we load a game? 
Are we, like, in a spot that we're not supposed to be able to? There we go. Okay, so, um... It was this one, right? Should be, because the other one's an autosave. So yeah, I remember someone telling me that we can help out this woman, or we don't have to. And I'm going to go ahead and, and not do that, because it looks like she's going to make us kill people, and uh, of course that's not what we're trying to do. So all those people are down there, which means we probably want to sneak past them. Can we grab Blink and then go over there? Okay. So, we're just gonna leave that and hope that everything works out for Granny Rags, although she seems kind of sinister, doesn't she? And we're gonna go this way. I think this is the Bottle Street area it was talking about, and this is pretty much how we're gonna have to uh, bypass the Wall of Light. So, let's go this way. Can we open this door, or is this a dead end? We can open this door. Door to the art dealer's apartment. Cannot be opened at this time. Okay, then. I saw some guys up the street, which means they're probably bad guys. Let's get this done. Yeah, and the inspection fee. We can't help it. Just the cross the line, and you'll have your throat cut. Keep away, or I'll slit your record for you. Okay. I'm just. Do you mean this line? Like, can I? I'm, I don't care about that door. Okay. Thank you guys. All right, let's open this. And what is in this trash bin? Nothing. So it looks like this is actually a dead end, but we might be able to go up there. There we go. Okay, get past the first wall of light. That has been completed. Get past the second wall of light. Okay, then. Oh! And there's a guard right behind these boxes. Maybe wind or something. Yeah, it was definitely wind, yep. You know when you saw that person directly in front of you? <clears throat> Come on, there we go. Yeah, what I was saying was, remember when you saw that guy directly in front of you? That was wind. Alright, let's throw this body over here, because this is super satisfying. Bye-bye! Okay, and let's move forward. This place is so well lit, though. So it's kind of like Assassin's Creed, I guess. You can get to certain areas without being detected, but once you're past, like, the restricted zone, you know, they're... They're going to be looking for you. Alright, um, let's grab our sleep darts. Even though we're going to try and not use too many of them. And, let's see, we have a dude over there. Although that looks like a... Okay, I think that was a mistake. But we'll do that anyways, whatever. We have like five left, I think. So that'll just have to do. Um, we can't loot. Why can't we loot these guys? Someone was also saying that when you loot people, it auto... Or when you carry people, it auto-loots them, which is nice. Okay, so we're obviously not going to be able to walk through, like, the middle section there. I'm going to assume... What is back there? The Granny Rags thing? Gentleman Caller, yeah. I'm going to assume that it wants us to go down here. Let's grab these coins, or are those not coins? Alright. Um... I don't think it wants us to go down here, actually. Let's exit Sneak and head back up here and then go back into Sneak. And get as close as possible to the Wall of Light. To see what our options are. Well, is it on? What's it look like? Blow off, Hayburn. Go on. Toss the damn rat already. <laughs> Never gets old. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to assume we can take one of those power things and throw it into that. Huh? Yeah, and I'm also going to assume that we're going to get alerted by that guy. Alright, let's try that again. Alright, so this guy's done. Let's carry his body. What are you, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Okay, so we can hold X to sheathe our weapons, just like the Elder Scrolls. Alright, so there was another dude, and he's over there, so we gotta watch out for him, but, like I said, I'm, I'm almost 100% sure we can grab one of those things and throw it into there, and it will stop it, but we got to, uh, take care of this guy first. He's not gonna walk through the wall of light, because he'd die too, right? There's gotta be some way you can, like, pull them into it. Or maybe they have something on their person that will stop that from happening, like they give them to the guards. Probably not. And I see another dude over there to the right, too. Okay, turn around anytime you want to. No! Even if he was alerted, like, what would he do? He can't run through the wall of light. 
Okay, so has he gone? There he goes. Let's grab one of these things. And throw it. And it looks like it's snow. You know what? I saw it, like, skittering with electricity. And I was like, this is going to kill me, isn't it? Sure enough, it did. Okay, so I realize what we actually want to do is take this thing. Ow, I didn't know that would explode. Okay. Oh, boy. It looks like they all got alerted, though. I think we're dead, and we're dead. Alright, let's try that again. We have to do this when no one's near, so now would be a good time. Okay, and now I'm going to know this is going to explode, so let's throw it over there. The explosion might have been what alerted them. These things burn out faster than shit. Okay, so I assume they're going to walk over here and grab another one of those power supplies and try and reinstate it. So we're gonna have to take him out when he goes to grab one, obviously. So let's go ahead and do that. Keep skulking around, that's not good. That dialogue sounds like they know I'm here. Um, or are you not going to grab anything? That's just ridiculous. Stupid rats. Plague. <laughs> Licks your bunch of crap. Okay, hopefully he doesn't look too far behind him. We've gotten past the second wall of light. Let's throw this guy over there. I don't think it matters too much. But, yeah. Alright, so we can go to the right or the left, but it looks like our objective is to the left. But this place is so well lit. Going to assume it auto-saved already, but I'm not sure, of course. Alright, so that looks like another wall of light. And I hear rats all over the place. I know there's a way- Oh, hello there. Okay, I did not see that guy. Uh, no. What? Oh, come on now. That one was just ridiculous. Alright, now it said there was a bone charm nearby. Or maybe a rune. So let's go ahead and knock this guy out. Carry his body. Throw him down there. Feed the rats. They're pretty hungry. What is over here? A rune. Okay, cool. So we didn't even have to do that. Confiscated rune. Corporal Meadows. We found the strange rune on, on the woman who used to sell pastries up the street. Not sure how she died, but since the thing looks superstitious, we set it aside for the overseers. After your shift is over, take it to them for disposal or whatever they do with them. Don't forget. I'll take it. That's fine. Um, and actually, now we can upgrade our powers. Let's do that. And blink is three, dark vision is two. What does dark vision two give us? See in the dark and see living beings through walls included, including their fields of vision. Representations of the sounds that you make are also visible. See useful objects and security systems through walls as well. I'm going to save up for blink because, yeah, that's probably going to be our number one ability. Okay, we have guards all over the place, including right there, and we are directly in the light, so that's not good. I don't know how far that... Mm, uh, okay. No, no, no. Where, where are you going? Oh, what? Did that guy just run into an explosive and blow himself up? I guess so. Anyways, reloading that save. Alright, since this guy is the only one over here, we're going to go ahead and sleep dart him. And there is one more guy to the right, but hopefully... Oh, come on! Okay, he's actually not alerted, so we may be able to do this, but we might have to expend one more sleep dart. So let's wait till he turns the corner, and then... Oh no, he's looking the opposite direction. Alright, well, let's use that chance. That counts as alerted, right? Let me try that again. Okay, so I used two sleep darts. We have three left just because those two guys were pretty annoying. And now we can go right through here. I think we can go ahead and make a break for it. Door to Holger Square. Go to Holger Square. Okay, so this is actually the High Overseer's office. Speak with Overseer Martin in Holger Square. Take the blackmail journal from High Overseer Cam Bell. I hear the second day is when the skin really starts to come all the way off. Is that true? Or is it the itching that really gets you? Or the rats? Jasper, isn't it? It's not so bad in here. Except I miss your wife. Okay, so it looks like this guy is... ...imprisonated. So let's throw this guy over there. And... Corvo, it's me. What a sight you are in that mask. I know who you are and what you're here to do. And I can help. Unlock me, and I'll buy you a drink in a couple of days. By the void, I'll buy you a hundred drinks. Oh, this is the guy they were actually telling me to release. So, let's do that. Uh, poor circulation, and I seem to have forgotten my mittens, so... 
I'd appreciate it if you could release me or at least go gather some firewood. Well, I'll try. You never appreciate the fine masonry of Dunwall's cobblestones until you've had your face hanging over them for days on end. Oh, we have to pull this lever. Okay. <sighs> Feels good to stand up straight. <sighs> Thank you, Corvo. What you're here to do tonight is of the highest importance. We've got to find Emily. So kill Campbell and make it quick. Once it's done, search his body for the journal, his notorious black book, and get out of there. Campbell is meeting with a guard named Kernow, and word from my informant is that Campbell is going to poison him. Maybe you can use that to your advantage. All right, I won't be of any help here, so I'll make my own way back to the Hound Pits pub. If I see Samuel the boatman, I'll tell him to pick you up in the backyard, behind the office of the High Overseer. May All right, buddy. Let's guide you and may our enemy's head hit the floor without you taking a scratch. Good luck, dude. All right, ladies and gentlemen, with that, we are going to end this episode. In the next episode, I have a good feeling we're going to do some assassination. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys there. Bye bye.